seems like someone should have brought it up before. There's something in Brian and Joanne Hunsicker's home, steadily stealing years from their lives. I don't want to end up dying from lung cancer. Cancer caused by an odorless radioactive gas called radon. It seeps out of the soil and into many homes across Missouri and the nation. Radon related lung cancers are responsible for about 21,000 lung cancer deaths each year. In fact, radon expert Dr. Bill Field says it's the number two cause of lung cancer in the U.S., a surprise for many of the gas's victims. It's like, oh my gosh, I lost my chance now. It's too late to go back. You can't fix it then. And in Missouri, state figures show many homes in St. Louis, St. Charles, Jefferson, and many other counties have radon levels above the EPA's health recommendation. But many Missourians may never know they're being exposed to this carcinogen. Why? Because state law doesn't specifically require home builders or sellers to test a property for radon or even bring up the general topic of radon before you buy a home. Just ask the Hunsickers. We were not ever told about radon. But long after the Hunsickers moved in, a warranty issue caused them to check their home. And soon. The radon test would reveal radon levels at this home were actually five times the safe level recommended by the EPA. No one knows that they may be living with a killer. But tragically, Gloria Linhertz does. After living in this Illinois home for two decades, her husband discovered he had lung cancer. It was in his back, it was in his, his spinal cord. The last three weeks of Joe's life was in enormous pain. But after his death, Gloria learned about radon and had her home tested. The result, she and her husband had been living in a home with four times the amount of radon deemed safe by the EPA. But I thought it can't be in my house, but it was. And I regret that to no end. So Gloria went from grieving widow to an activist, and it all led to a new law, the Illinois Radon Awareness Act. That requires home sellers to provide buyers a detailed disclosure form about any radon issues and educational material about the gas. And since then, home radon testing has gone up in Illinois. As for Missouri, Gloria keeps trying to get a similar law passed here, but says the politicians aren't going for it. They're so afraid that this might cost something. Now, we should mention when you buy a home in Missouri, radon might be mentioned in the seller's disclosure agreement. But often it's buried in fine print and also says that the seller is not liable for any radon problems. In the studio, PJ Randawa, Five on Your Side, investigates.